Hello, hello everyone. My name is Elise. Welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing so, so good today. We are doing my book haul revisit for the month of March and then picking the book that I will put on my April TBR. And it is a must read for April. This is probably the shortest book haul revisit in all of the ones that we've done so far. There are only five books that I picked up in March and I have read three of them. So I only have two to pick from for my TBR so that will be very interesting. And I'm also trying to figure out what I want to do when I have read all of the books in a book haul revisit. Like if I want to do a last going over it and say like okay I, I read all these books I'll go over all of them give little mini reviews or if when I finish it it's just done and I will never talk about it again. Let me know if you have a preference and yeah without further ado we will get into these books. So, like usual, I will be showing an image for the ones I have read and holding up the ones that I have not. And the first one we're starting with is Kidnapped by Lyudmila Petrushevskaya, translated by Marian Schwartz, and this one's published by Deep Vellum. I did DNF this one and unhaul it, so I don't even have the book anymore. And no shade on the book for that, it just wasn't my style. I don't have that one anymore, uh, but it is out and into someone else's hands. Hopefully I put it in my little free library like I do with all my unhauled books. So one down. Next up we have Spy Family, whatever the edition was that came out at this time. I want to say this one was nine, volume nine. These are by Tetsuya Endo, the illustrations and the story, and it's translated from the Japanese by Casey Lowe. Already read it, love these this is such a fun manga series it's about a spy who ends up marrying an assassin and adopting a telepath but none of them know who each other really is and they just get up into like wholesome hijinks the daughter understands what's happening because she's telepathic so she's trying to help out the missions in any way that she can but she's horrible at it so very funny um very cozy and I always read these right away when I get them. I'm about to get the newest volume, which I think is 11, um, very, very soon. I'll be back in this world shortly enough. Next up, we have the two books that I have not read yet. The first one of these is a nonfiction. It's W3. This is by Betty Howland. And there's an introduction by Yu Yang Lee, who wrote the Book of Goose, that I really want to read, but I haven't picked it up yet. That's neither here nor there. This is published by A Public Space Books. And this one I picked up because I went to a literary event at one of my local indie bookstores and it was about small presses and independent publishers. A Public Space Books was one of the ones there. I think there were like 12 independent publishers there. And I wanted to pick up some of the books from all these places that I've been interested in that are a little bit harder to get. This was the one that I picked up and this follows the author's experience in a psychiatric ward. The ward name that she was on was W3, that's the title, hence the title. And yeah, she was there in 1974 and I just wanted to learn more about the experience of a woman being in a psychiatric ward during that time and she credits this book with helping her stay alive and this being like a very cathartic healing process for her to write it and I definitely want to read it. That's an option. The other book is also pink like peachy pink and that is Permafrost by Eva Balthazar. This is translated from the Spanish by Julia Sanchez published by and other stories. This book I picked up because I loved Boulder by Eva Balthazar that I read a couple of years ago now. Was that a couple of years ago? Yes, it was a couple of years ago. This is part of the same kind of like loose trilogy or triad of books that she's writing that all cover similar themes. Boulder was the second one. Permafrost was the first one to come out. So I went back to this. I also am supposed to be reading this for my And Other Stories Taste Test. It's the last book for that video to come out. And I've been in the middle of it for quite some time. I need to get back to it. And I'm going to start it over because it has been so long. I was on page 37, so not very far in. So I'm going to start over when I do pick it up. And I really need to get that video out. So this is probably a good pick for me. We'll see. We'll come back to these two lovely kind of pinkish books. 
And lastly, the fifth book in this book I'll revisit is My Annihilation. This is by Fuminori Nakamura and it's translated from the Japanese by Sam Bett. And I think it's published by Soho Crime if I'm remembering correctly. This book I did not enjoy <laughs> and I also unhauled this book. Uh, but I did complete it. It It's a mystery, but is it? I don't really know. I, it was just so misogynistic and like I felt like gratuitous sexual violence and sexual harassment and I was just so sick of it. I didn't feel like it was necessary to the story and honestly the payoff, the mystery payoff, was not enough to make it worth it. So like I said, read it, unhauled it, somebody else hopefully will enjoy it but it was not for me and I don't think the author is going to be for me in general. I had been interested at the time of also picking up The Rope Artist which was their 2023 release and didn't end up picking it up because I didn't like this one so much. So those are the five books that we have. These are the two that we have to pick from and while I really want to read this one, I want to read this one more. This is the one that I really need to read. Uh, so I'm going to pick this one to force me to finish that and other stories publisher taste test video. So this is the pick for my April TBR. I was liking the book fine when I was reading it, but I was in a bad headspace for it because the main character is very unlikable and negative and I wasn't in a good place to read that at the time even though I can like that so we'll we'll see we'll I'll start this over and hopefully it works better the second time around please let me know if you have read any of these books or you're interested in reading any of them I would love to hear your thoughts and I will see you all in the next video bye